So hey guys, how are you? Welcome to this new video. So today I'm going to show you how to play games, regular games, in your VR, sitting in your couch and enjoying like a big screen, okay? I'm going to talk slowly, there's no script, it's all improvised, just an idea, okay? What do you need for this? A virtual desktop, especially the wireless version, so you have to pay for it uh, on their website. You need an Xbox controller or any controller, but in my case, I'm using an Xbox controller. You could plug it wirelessly to your computer, or in my case as well, I'm going to connect it using a USB cable. Okay, USB-C cable in my case. Okay, here you have the, the controller. I'm going to plug it in, and then you're going to see the little Xbox light turn on. Okay, uh, sorry here, I used the pass-through. I don't have enough lighting, so there you go. Exo controller, you can see the light, okay? Perfect. So, to do this, I'm going to show you. Let me start recording my screen on the computer. I'm going to show you what do you need. So, right now I'm going to start recording as well on my Oculus Quest. And uh, you guys are going to see why not, what is the deal about this, okay? So, right now... Uh, and tracking because of the microphone is somewhat okay perfect so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open virtual desktop but first i'm going to open it on the on the computer okay so i go to windows virtual desktop you can see it has, has virtual desktop streamer i open it sometimes there's no update if that's the case i press close that's it. Perfect account. Now I go to my to my Oculus Quest. Okay. And then I look for my virtual desktop, which should be around here. I open it. It says create new boundary. I'm just going to put new boundary. Probably stationary. Take a look. Yeah, there you go. It says stationary. Confirm. I'm in a stationary position. Okay. There you go. Look at this. Okay. Looking for a computer, make sure your computer is running. Computer is running. So, I'm not sure what the deal is about. Let's try again. Virtual. So see, this is, this is part of the important part. Oh, it's actually my computer, my quest. This is not connected to Wi-Fi. See, interesting. Wi-Fi, what's up here? What's up here? Huh. What's up here? Again, fail. Doesn't even require to be uh didn't even be required to uh so as you can see, the, the, the... Okay, let's see. Uh, it's because I restarted my router. Just to try to make it cleaner, I guess. And as you can see, apparently not connected. There you go. There you go. Everything is dandy. As soon as I go back here... Okay. There you go. So I should be able to... Not connected to Wi Fi. Simple. Let's do this. Quit. Okay. Let's reopen it again. I, I, and I think this is the important part of this video. I want you to realize to see it that it's not always a one click working wonder, right? That's the whole point of it. Um, there you go. Now it's connected. You can see now I'm here in my, uh, I guess let's call it personal theater. Let's now put a game. Okay, I'm going to open a game. Let's start with Ori because I really wanted to show you Ori. Now, there is a thing here Okay, that we need to take into account that is VR headset and computer. So I'm going to be streaming the headset and computer, okay? So both audios at the same time. That's very important. And you can see gamepad emulation, it says Xbox, right? You can get DualShock, Automatic, and Xbox. I can minimize this, 
I'm going to go to library. Okay, real quick. I'm going to go to library. I'm going to go to Ori. Just because this is a game that I'm playing right now. Go here. And the game is going to start. As you can see, right now it is running on my computer. But I'm kind of seeing it here. Uh, let's see if I can show you. I don't want to use controllers. I don't want to use uh, the... Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Environments. I want to see, I want to show you what does it look like. For example, this is Black Void, okay? And you can move the screen and and then every... So, like, it's very interesting. I would have to get the controller. But I think the point is very much understood. What I'm trying to show you guys here. Space Sky. Like, this is a very good job that these guys have done here. Home theater. Like... You know what I mean? Like, this is pretty awesome. And then what I'm going to do is just remove that. Get my Xbox controller, which, of course, you're not going to see here, but it's here. I'm going to press any key, start game. And then there you go. OK. There you go. The input lag is negligible, I would say. I'm putting just increasing the audio in my game. I guess the, the, the very interesting part of this is that... Oh, wow. Things are going to kill me. There you go. So, I think the important part of this is that the game becomes enjoyable. Okay, that's the main number one and not only enjoyable but at the same time that you can actually see it and enjoy it on a uh let's say on an experience that may be different okay and this you can do this with any game you can have this incredible um incredible scenario where you you, you can see you, you feel like you're in a different place. And I, I want to show you, okay, uh, what happens when if I if I choose any other, like, for example, home cinema. What does it look like? Uh, dark cinema, for example. This is a very good one, actually. Let's click here. You can see how everything becomes bigger. And at the same time, it's more enjoyable. So it's just... I see that there's an issue here, which is the game is not passing through right now. I, am I hitting the mouse? Yeah, so it's not recognizing right now the, the controller. For some reason, there's an input here that is not letting me. So it might, I might have to open this. You can see the input. Okay. You can see here some little things that we can do. Streaming got like sharpening VR pass through gamma video buffering. I don't think has to be an input settings. Auto connect screen brightness input. Enhancing track with desktop. Emulate a gamepad on PC. Enable to play game with your gamepad. Yes. There you go. So let's see here. So there's still an issue here happening. So as I said, it's never very much straightforward. There's always... I think it would be automatically hide hands would be the best. Uh... So I think it should be, we should be fine like this. But regardless, the point is, this is the first time by the way that this Let's call it semi glitch has happened, but it's definitely affecting me because I cannot aim. As you can see, I cannot aim, which is a problem. Oh, so we would need to validate or verify what is happening there. But I just really wanted to share you this, you guys like this experience. Of course, I'm not wearing headset. I'm using the let's call it the audio from. Uh, the audio from the meta quest like it's not terrible audio it's very good audio it might not be spatial audio but i guess the point is that you can play with it like this 
and at the same time you want to have some headsets you can always connect some headsets right and enjoy the headsets i think i think that's um that's let's say the benefit if you want to say it like that it's a very interesting uh game by the way i'm almost finishing it uh well at least i think so <laughs> um but uh, I just want to show you this little experience, how it feels to play VR games in different scenarios. Like, for example, uh, let's see here. Let's just show you another environment so you guys can see. For example, I don't know, modern apartment room, night maybe. So let's take a look here. There you go. And you feel like you have space, right? Like you can definitely feel comfortable playing this like that. When you feel that it's at a distance, I just feel it's amazing and it's very good. It's very likable. So I hope you guys enjoy and, you know, we'll keep following with this type of media content, real one to one, no script. Sometimes there's a script, but today I just felt like it. Okay, I think uh, there's a lot of things that people are slipping into the VR headset and I feel it's a good, it's a good proposition. So have a good one. See you on the next ones and remember to like and subscribe, okay? See ya!